Let's make a Korean rolled omelet breakfast sandwich with gochujang mayo and kimchi. I made homemade milk buns as well, but they are an extra credit assignment, so feel free to swap them for store-bought if you prefer. Let's start with the buns. Pour 315 grams of milk into a saucepan. Heat over low until it feels warm like bath water. Add 15 grams of dry active yeast and let stand for 10 minutes or until foamy. Pour the mixture into a stand mixer and add 30 grams of honey, two teaspoons of salt, and two cups of flour. Mix on low until a loose dough forms. Add the remaining cup and a half of flour in quarter cup increments. How much flour you add will depend on the humidity of your kitchen, so it pays to be conservative. Add only enough flour to make a smooth but tacky dough. Start adding a quarter cup of softened unsalted butter cut into cubes. Add one to two cubes at a time and wait for each addition to be fully integrated before adding more. Transfer the dough to a floured surface and knead for seven to 10 minutes. You want the bread to feel silky smooth and elastic. Once the dough is where you want it, form it into a ball and transfer it to an oiled bowl. Cover and let rise for an hour and a half. Once the dough has risen, deflate the dough and divide it into 100 gram pieces. Flatten each piece into a disc and gather it into a ball, pinching hard to form a seal. Refine the shape and transfer the buns to a baking sheet. Cover and let rise for 30 minutes. This is a good time to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Pour a tablespoon of water into a bowl. Add an egg and whisk to combine. Brush the mixture over each bun before transferring them to the oven. Bake for 25 to 30 minutes, rotating the pan once halfway through. Set the buns aside to cool. You will have more buns than you need for this recipe, so feel free to freeze the excess. They freeze beautifully. Let's get to the rest of the sandwich. Finally chop three green onions or scallions. I prefer to say scallions, but I'm told that sounds snobby. Transfer them to a bowl and set them aside. Next, grab a carrot and remind your cat that there's no sense in bagging because he doesn't like carrots. Peel the carrot and mince it very finely. This is the most boring portion of the recipe. Make sure you always cut a flat side to rest your carrot on when chopping. You don't want the thing rolling around aimlessly. That's how stitches happen. Transfer the carrot to a bowl and set it aside as well. Next, thinly slice a red cabbage on a mandolin. You need about a cup. If you're feeling lazy, feel free to use coleslaw mix. I've been known to do the same from time to time. Add a tablespoon of gochujang to half a cup of mayo. Add a teaspoon of mirin and stir to combine. Chill until ready to use. Crack six eggs into a bowl and add the scallions, carrots, and half a teaspoon of salt. Whisk to combine. Now the moment of truth. Place a non-stick skillet over medium heat. Add a tablespoon of neutral oil. Once the oil is shimmering, add a third of a cup of the egg mixture. Lightly scramble it with chopsticks. This is the anchor for our rolled omelet. Continue adding the egg mixture to the pan. Rotate the pan to ensure the new addition coats it completely. Once the egg starts to set, flip the anchor away from you, wrapping the existing omelet in the newest addition. Repeat until all the egg mixture has been used. I'm still fairly new to this, so my movements are not the smoothest. I've seen people do this with only their chopsticks. I've still got some learning to do. Trim the edges and cut the omelet into two large pieces. Slather a toasted milk bun with the gochujang mayo and add some kimchi. Top the kimchi with the omelet and a pile of the shredded cabbage. And there you go, a Korean rolled omelet breakfast sandwich with gochujang mayo and kimchi. I hope you give this one a shot. It's one of my all time favorites. Thank you for cooking with me and following along. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel. 
And if you've already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. It means a lot. I'll be back next week with a new recipe. See you then.